Let's look at the equation 2x minus 7 equals 3 minus 3x. We'll solve this equation in three steps. The first step is going to, get is going to be to get the two x terms combined. So the way we'll do that is we'll add 3x to the right hand side. Since we did that to the right hand side, we also need to do it to the left hand side. See how we'll add 3x below the 2x because we want to we want to combine the like terms. On the left hand side, that gives us 2x plus 3x, which is 5x, and we're left with the minus 7 still. On the right hand side, the minus 3x and the 3x are going to cancel, so we're just left with 3. Now you can see that we've reduced this to a two-step equation like the ones that we did in the previous lesson. So the next step we already know is to get the x term by itself. To do that we'll add 7 to both sides. On the left hand side the minus 7 and the 7 cancel which leaves us just with 5x and on the right side we have 3 plus 7 which leaves us with 10. And the final step is to get x by itself. We have 5 multiplying x so we need to divide by 5. We do that on the right hand side as well and that leaves us x equals 5 or 10 divided by 5 which is 2. So our final answer was x equals 2. Now let's look at x equals 5x plus 1. Remember our first step is to combine the x terms and so what we're going to do is subtract x from the left hand side now, we could have subtracted 5x from the right-hand side and put it on the left-hand side, but that would have given us a negative 4x, and you'll see that either way works. I chose to do this way so that we didn't end up with a negative. So what we're going to do, since we subtracted x from the left-hand side, we also need to subtract x from the right-hand side. On the left, those x's cancel, which leaves us with 0. And on the right we have 5x minus x, which leaves us with 4x, and then we still have that plus 1. Now the next step is we want to get the 4x by itself. So we're going to subtract 1 from the right-hand side, and we also need to do that to the left-hand side. On the left that leaves us with 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. And on the right we have 4x and then the 1 and the minus 1 cancel. So that just leaves us with 4x. Finally, what we need to do is get x by itself. It's multiplied by 4, so we need to divide by 4. We need to do that to the other side as well. And so that leaves us with x on the right-hand side and then negative 1 fourth on the left-hand side. So our answer is x equals negative 1 fourth. Let's look at another one. Here we have 1 half x plus 2 equals 3 halves x minus 4. So the first thing we're going to do, again, is combine the x terms. So this time, what we'll do is subtract 3 halves x from the right-hand side, and then since we did that to the right-hand side, we need to subtract 3 halves x from the left-hand side as well. So that leaves us with 1 half minus 3 halves times x, and that's negative 1 times x, or negative x. And we still have that negative 2. And on the right-hand side, the 3 halves x and the negative 3 halves x will cancel, so we're just left with a negative 4. We have to be careful here. We don't want to forget that negative in front of the 4. That's something that happens a lot, and it's really easy to do. So we need to remember the negative. The next step is we want to get the x term by itself, so we want to subtract 2 from the left-hand side. And then we'll do that from the right-hand side as well. So on the left, those that 2 and negative 2 cancel, so we're just left with a negative x. And on the right, we have minus 4 minus 2, which gives us minus 6. Our final step is we have negative x, so we need to to flip the signs on both sides, which is the same thing as multiplying by negative 1. So on the left, we get x, and on the right, we get 6. 
So our answer is x equals 6. Let's look at one more. Here we have x plus 2 equals 11 minus 8x. So the first thing we'll do again is combine the x terms. So we'll add 8x to the right hand side. We'll do that to the left hand side as well. So on the left, or on the right, uh, the minus 8x and the 8x cancel. So we're just left with 11. And on the left, we have x plus 8x, which gives us 9x. We still have the 2. And on the right, like we already said, we just have 11. The second step is to get the x term by itself. And so we want to subtract 2 from the left-hand side. We did that to the left-hand side, so we need to do it to the right-hand side as well. So we're going to subtract 2 there. The 2 and the minus 2 cancel which leaves us with a 9x on the left-hand side. And then we have 11 minus 2, which is 9 on the right-hand side. Finally, we want to get the x by itself. It's multiplied by 9. So what we need to do is divide by 9. We'll do that on the right-hand side as well. On the left, that leaves us with x. And on the right, that leaves us with 9 divided by 9, which is 1. So our final answer is x equals 1.